Hello boys and girls, Ken Smith of Ken Smith Fishing. I know that's a surprise. Uh, we are loaded up, Jared's on the camera, and uh, we're finally going to pick up a boat. So after five short months of uh, looking at a whole bunch of different boats, we're going north. Come on, let's go for a ride. We'll show y'all where we're going. Well, 4,000 calories later at El Agave's in beautiful Hope, Arkansas, which sounds a lot like Zavala. We still got some driving to do. Let's go. All right. So you guys know now we've, uh, we've crossed out of Texas. We're into Arkansas. Some of you know this. I grew up in Little Rock, went to school at Fayetteville. Graduate in 1984, thank you very much, go Hogs. So we're headed uh, north, north into Arkansas, good ways. Uh, we've knocked about half of it out. We got about 4,000 calories of Mexican food each and uh, we're gonna drive till, it, till we get there. So this will be fun. Hey man, I'm lost as a goose. You uh, can you help me with some directions? Where are you trying to go? Well, I'm trying to get to uh.
Guys, this is the prettiest boat I have ever owned. So, so you know, I've watched as as a fan, as a fanboy, I've watched a lot of uh, a lot of boat reveal videos, and my take from that was, this is the best deal I could get. And I, you know, when I set out to do this, I, I've talked about this in those real early boat videos. I'm in the incredibly fortunate position to at 58 years old, have been smart with my money and saved and had made a good income and, and frankly won a couple of boats and saved with those and won some other stuff in tournament fishing. And I was in a position to buy any boat I wanted to. Uh, but and don't get me wrong, I'm still price conscious because I'm cheap. Or as my friend Ed says, I'm not cheap, I'm poor. But. Um, I realized I really wanted to go through a process to make a decision and, and I really, you know, I was with Ranger for such a long time and I would have been really happy to stay with Ranger forever and I really wanted to go somewhere where I felt like I could have that same experience and stay there. Look, I hope to fish till I'm in my 70s. My boys will both be fishing in the next four or five years and I want to fish with them. And I wanted to be in a family. I wanted to be with a boat manufacturer that felt like family to me and didn't feel like Big Brother Corporation. So that started playing into my decision process. And I really narrowed it down to three boats, three boat makers, and three boat makers and a couple of models because both of them had, two of them had models that I was interested in. And I narrowed it down to uh, Phoenix, to Bass Cat, and to Blazer. And it's interesting, uh, well, let me back up. Camus scored really, really well. And I'm not bashing on Camus, but I was never a fan of the Triton, the Stratus, the Javelin, all of which were made by the same guy, all of which he subsequently sold the company. And I just didn't, I felt like there would be a, a chance at some, a good chance at some point in the future that he would disengage from this company and sell it as well. So I kind of took Camus off my list. Um, and that's probably unfair to them, but it's, I'm spending my money, right? So um, although it graded pretty good and it was not the top graded boat, uh, I took them off my list. And, and that may not bother you, some of you guys. And again, this was my search. This wasn't me searching for your boat. So that left me with the other three. Um, and I only talked to two of them. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys about this. Um, I did not talk to Phoenix. I never asked them for a price on a boat. I never reached out to a dealership. And I really wanted something a little more unique. And I wanted a feel that I didn't get from the Phoenix boat. And I don't, I don't know how else to describe that. Um, and, and they're everywhere. I mean, you just, you go in any parking lot at Rayburn and there's three or four or five or six Phoenix trailers in a row. And I wanted something different. And that narrowed it down to Blazer and Bass Cat. I was really impressed with the Blazer boat and totally prepared not to be impressed with the Blazer boat um, because there's none around. And my, my challenge with Blazer was twofold. Um, 
And by the way, let me also say, those two last ones, Blazer and, and Bass Cat, were both engaged and interested in the review I was doing and, and I'm going to say taking notes, but paying attention. I mean, you know, giving me feedback that, yeah, that's something we want to work on or no, here's why we do that that way and we're not going to change it, which I respect. And that made me think they were listening to not only their pro staff, but lowly little old me, redneck in, you know, Dallas and East Texas, Zavala, Texas, looking at their boats. And if they're interested in my feedback, they're interested in everybody's feedback. But Blazer has no contingency program, and I was very slightly concerned that they've really, that 650, they've only made it for a couple of years, and they just didn't have the track record I was comfortable with yet. And I'm always a little bit concerned about resale value, but I think that boat's going to resell well because there's not a lot of them. And I had no intent of driving a bass cat. As a matter of fact, I think if he told you the truth, after my first review, if you guys remember, my first review was that Puma Hybrid, and I scored it in the 70s, and you bass cat guys roasted me because you felt like I was going to score everybody else in the 90s and the one, you know, a 100, and I didn't. I told you I was going to be stingy with my points. But I really didn't want a, a narrow boat. I wanted a big body boat. And you guys were the ones who told me, if that's what you want, you need to go drive the Lynx. And I was so impressed with the Lynx. So those were the two boats I narrowed it to. And then I started doing the rest of the research. And this, I always said I was going to do this. When I got it narrowed to just a few boats, I would learn more about the build process. And, and I started, I, I had a, what I started to say something a minute ago. When I came out of my Skeeter and into my first Ranger, which was a 2010, it was an incredibly well-built boat, I told a buddy of mine, I felt like I got out of a Lincoln Town car and into a German sports car. It just had a tight feel in when you drove it. And I got to tell you, the only boat I really felt that in was the Basket. Um, and that was something I wanted, I, and, I, and, and I know now why I feel that. I understand how they build these boats, and we're going to show you over the next few videos how they build these boats. That's what brought me to them. And look, guys, uh, I, was, I was interested in being on a team and, and being with a family, and when I approached Basscat, they were very interested in me joining their family, and that meant a lot to me. Um, it, it just did. Um, uh, Rick Pierce, uh, President and CEO of Basscat, uh, was engaged with me through the process, argued with me some through the process, was probably pretty frustrated with me through the process, but was always open to talking to me about what I was doing and uh, would not talk to me about being on, in their family until I told him I felt like I had looked at every boat I might possibly want to look at. And I thought that was pretty cool. I just was really impressed with that. So, uh, Bass Cat Lynx, that's what, we're, uh, that's what we picked up. Uh, you guys have seen a little bit about that boat, but that's what led us to uh, north, I guess just north central Arkansas, and to join the Bass Cat family. And I'm really excited about being in that boat and fishing out of that boat. And I'll be honest, I'm excited about going fast. I hadn't had a boat that would run into the mid 70s ever actually now that i think about it and it's fun it's exhilarating to drive a boat at that speed so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this first video and uh this this trip up here with jared and i and uh man we got a bunch more good stuff coming from you for you jared came with me so we got good tour stuff good audio that was why he came up here with me and uh, i think you guys are going to enjoy this and even if you decide not to buy a bass cat I think we're going to give you some things to think about in your next purchase and what to look for in the build process to make sure you buy a real quality boat. Because look guys, these things are not cheap, right? My electronics on this boat will cost more than my first two boats combined. Uh, so it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a capital outlay. You spend some money. and. Uh, I'm glad you guys stay with me. I appreciate all the views, all the comments, and uh, 
stick around. We got more good stuff coming. I think you'll enjoy all this. Thanks, guys.